this is the Fitbit Versa 2 and in this video, we're reviewing this pretty thing. First off, let me start by saying that my very first wearable, the very first one that I reviewed in my tech career was a Fitbit. It was a Fitbit Alta HR and at that time when I was so clueless as to what wearables can and should do, it was a wearable that I enjoyed mostly because Fitbit's interface was so easy to learn. A few wearables down the line, we now have the Fitbit Versa 2. This thing isn't exactly new and a few months back, Fitbit was in the headlines for being sold to Google. All that being said, the question becomes, is it worth it to get the Fitbit Versa 2? Let's start. Oh, by the way, before we move on to the video, I have a giveaway ongoing right now. So head on to my Instagram, that's at Cisa said, good luck. So first up, we talk about the looks of this watch. Easily, I feel like it's one of the cutest in the market. Why? It comes in rose gold. So that alone makes this thing attractive to me. And if this pretty pink silicone strap is not your cup of tea, there are also a number of strap options, so you can take your pick. Admittedly, it does look like an Apple Watch, but then it only looks enough like it for you to do a double take and not enough for it to seem like Fitbit's copying the Apple Watch design. All in all, this thing scores well for staying on my wrist because of it looking good. Obviously right now it looks a little too fitbit -y and sporty but that's nothing a strap change won't fix. A thing I did notice right off the bat when I started using the Versa 2 was that it was significantly faster and snappier than the Fitbit Versa and the Fitbit Versa Lite. Another improvement would be that this thing has now an OLED screen. Yes, that means a better looking screen and an always on display. There is now only one button on the Versa 2 and that's on the left side. On the other side is a mic. Why? Because the Fitbit Versa 2 is now Alexa enabled. Let me show you and keep looking behind me. Alexa, turn off the lights. Let's do that again. Alexa, turn on the lights. Basically have a smart assistant on your wrist and aside from making it turn my lights on and off, I can ask it to set alarms, schedule things, and even reply. So like any Fitbit, this thing is connected to your phone via Bluetooth through the Fitbit app. From here, you can customize watch faces, which is something that I really, really, really love and you'd know that if you've seen my previous videos. My favorite watch face of all time, however, and this can only be found on Fitbits, would be the Bitmoji watch faces. Basically, you have your Bitmoji and it does various little cute things throughout the day. It's nice. You get smartphone notifications on your Fitbit and it allows you to customize which app alerts you get on your watch. Like I mentioned earlier, there are also voice replies for certain messaging apps like Facebook chat. What's up? And you can also set quick reply messages on the app so that when you get a message on your watch, you can just tap that selected message and it sends out. These functions, however, are only available on Android. On an Apple phone, you'll still get your notifications, but unfortunately, you won't be able to reply. Aside from smartphone notifications, you also are able to see your calendar schedule and the watch will tell you whatever is happening for that day. The Fitbit app is not only the way you see the information your Fitbit tracks, it also allows you to discover certain guided programs and health stats. There is a community page that's sort of like social media but for fitness. And then they have Fitbit Premium which is relatively a new thing in the Fitbit world where you pay a certain monthly where it gives you more specific fitness information on the stats that you get from your watch and there are more fitness tips, information, and guided fitness programs. 
You can also add different apps on your Fitbit provided that there are Fitbit apps that are compatible. Some notable ones include Spotify, there's also a Starbucks app, there's an Uber app, although I really don't know how you could be ordering Ubers on this tiny screen, and there are also countless fitness apps. By the way, this thing also supports Fitbit Pay. Right, on to the fitness part. So your Fitbit will actually track your sleeping schedule. It shows you what your average sleep score is and where you are in the spectrum of really good to you're gonna die because you haven't slept. It also tracks your sleep stages so that's pretty cool. You can see when you were awake throughout the night and when you were in REM stage, light dreaming stage, or deep sleep stage. Your heart rate is also monitored and on the app, there's a cute little graph that shows you what your BPM is throughout the day. I mean, that's cool. Technically, it shows you when your heart flutters. There's also a cardio fitness score, which sort of makes me feel better because I am scored at 42 to 46, which according to this app, is between very good and excellent for women my age. There's also what I call the guilt counter, which is this thing that sort of tells you how many days out of five days you've exercised. So mine is not a very good look, but it does show you when you last worked out. And I imagine that if you exercise regularly, this would be somewhat of a motivation. On this thing, you could also log your food, your water intake, your weight and your weight goal. Plus, and I love this, there is women's health tracking, meaning you can log your period and then not only that, it will allow you to add certain little details from your flow intensity to your menstrual cycle symptoms to the mood that you had on that specific day. And even if you had sexual activities or contraceptives. Right, okay, so when you swipe to the right of your Fitbit, you see all the different apps that you have on here. And that first one over there is the exercise quick guide. You can pick out whatever exercise you plan to do. Like for example, you can go for a run. And this thing has connected GPS, meaning it will be able to track where you are provided that you have your phone with you. My favorite workout thing on the Fitbit, and this is not something that every smartwatch has would be the interval workout see i'm not the best runner see my previous videos testing out smartwatches and attempting to run so on days that i can't go to the gym i stay at home and pick an exercise get on my fitbit it's basically your own little hit session where there are intervals of high intensity and low intensity so when you do hit at the gym there's usually a coach that will tell you when to start or when to stop when you do it at home and alone, it gets tricky because you can't be focusing on your exercise while at the same time counting time. The Fitbit makes it easier because it vibrates when that session is done and then you move on to the rest. So basically, I keep on doing whatever exercise I'm doing and then when the watch vibrates, I move on to the next. So it's easy as that. For this one, I decided to go with the jump rope. So as you can see, I jump rope for 30 seconds the watch vibrates, I stop, I pause, I rest, and it vibrates again, I get back to skipping rope. Easy peasy, I love this feature. Of course, there are other things on here. There's literally swim, treadmill, weights, workout, hike, elliptical, golf, stair climber, tennis, spinning, yoga, boot camp, kickboxing. Yeah, there are a lot. But even then, if you have some other activity, which isn't under any of these, your Fitbit still records when it detects that you're doing some exercising. I always say that the best wearable is the one that stays on your wrist and the Fitbit Versa 2 will stay on your wrist for around an average of 6 days and that's according to my use. All in all, I believe that the Fitbit Versa 2 is the best Versa yet. It's still pretty, you still get the signature Fitbit fitness experience, it's smarter, it's faster, and it has Bitmoji clock faces. Priced at $200 and even at $150 last Black Friday sale, I think that's a very good deal. Especially for women who want something cute and something that will be able to track their fitness and who don't want to be drowned out by all that technicalities, the Fitbit Versa 2 is still a solid choice. Let me know if you have questions about the Fitbit Versa 2 in the comments down below. 
if you want to know more about what I do on a daily basis or if you just want to know what videos I'm putting up next, you can find me on social media. That's at Cisa Said. And speaking of social media, I have a giveaway ongoing now on Instagram. I'll link it down below, so head on over. Until the next time, bye!